Hi, what's up everyone? So we fly with another video. Today we are here on Genshin Impact and I'm about to show you how I can get a lot of very nice artifacts. Some are good, some are godly, but at least decent artifacts. So I'm about to share with you the method that I use. So I have a lot of artifacts with double crit. Now many of them are a luck because that's what I was doing before until I found out another method. So the method that I use, you guys can see I have flowers with double crit, a lot of them. And I have really, really nice artifacts right here. Always double crit, crit damage, crit value. So they go from 35, 40 to 50 crit damage value, which is crazy. So I want to show to you how you guys can get some artifacts right, right here just like this and what's the method that I use now somewhere in the game it is written that once you level up one of the artifacts the artifact can absorb the other artifacts substats and for example I have a piece right here where I have crit rate and crit damage if I level up this to plus three and then I use a bunch of artifacts with crit damage, it is possible that I may have crit damage leveled up instead of the other stats. What I want to show you too is that I have a lot of blocked or locked artifacts right here with crit damage. So this is what you need to do before you guys start leveling up. You need to pick up these artifacts that you have I have a lot of crit rate, crit damage, and not throw them away. You want to lock them, so when you need them, you guys can use them to level up any other artifact. But keep in mind, this, this artifact right here, it doesn't only count the crit damage, it will also count the main stat. That's one of the, the mistakes I was doing before. So if you want to level up crit damage in one artifact, you have to pay attention if that artifact is HP on the substats like for example this one it has hp so we, we put a bunch of crit damage artifacts right there like you level up to plus three and then plus four you use a bunch of crit damage artifacts if they are like flowers and stuff they have hp you may influenciate the hp on the artifacts and then instead of getting crit damage you're gonna get HP leveled up and that may happen a lot to you and of course HP defense and everything they still have a pretty higher chance to be leveled up than crit damage or crit rate so this method only improves the way you level up your artifacts so it's not a hundred percent working method but it is better to have 10 to 20 percent more chances than to have zero right so I'm about to show you. So last time I just went and leveled up this flower here. As you guys can see it was plus zero and it had already crit damage, crit rate, energy recharge and HP which is a very very nice piece and I wanted to test out this method. So what I did was to level it up until around plus three which is more than enough. Now you want to pay attention because sometimes you get the double double leveling up bonus and you may find it that you always get that bonus when you are plus three, plus seven or plus eleven. You only you always come in the worst possible time and then it's a leveling up crit damage or other substats it ends up leveling up some other substat you guys don't want. So here in this feather, I will try to level up crit rate. So I'll be picking up a piece that has crit rate, that does not have the HP, and that does not have any other substats that I have right there, because all I want is crit rate or crit damage. So if it goes to crit damage, it will be okay. So I wanted to influence the leveling up process so I just carry to plus four it went to crit rate which is what we want so I'll keep leveling up and I'll show you guys how 
this will be going. So I'm leveling up to plus 8 right now. I don't want to level it up directly. So I'm about to take out some other artifacts right here. And we're going to try to influence this once again. So right here I have the flower at plus 7. I'm about to find some artifacts right here that have crit damage and crit rate but don't have any energy recharge or HP because we don't want energy recharge or HP either crit rate or crit damage and now plus 8 and once again we got some crit rate which is very nice so we have 6 crit, da crit damage 8.9 crit rate now in the next steps I will try to level it up the crit damage so let's level it up once again to plus 11 so let's go slow because we don't want this doubling we don't want a double bonus ruining everything so let's pick up some other artifacts right here some artifacts will have three substats and they can be good but they can also be a double sword so if you guys level up any of your artifacts using this other three substats it may end up being bad for you so i wouldn't recommend using them too much the best artifacts are the ones that have a single bonus or if they have two substat bonus they should match the crit rate or crit damage and don't match any other substat so we are about to level this up to plus 12 and just double check we have HP right there so and I have HP percent but not HP here we have defense okay yes we did it so once again we leveled up one of the best subtats here on this feather that is the crit damage and everything is looking good so we have 13.2 crit damage and 8.9 crit rate so I already had a feather before similar to this but this one just got much better so I'll keep leveling up and I'll show you guys how it turns out in a couple of minutes so guys I just level it up the feather to plus 16 and once again we did it I used again crit damage substats on those artifacts and I managed to have a 19.4 crit damage feather 8.9 crit rate now I will try to level it up to plus 20 and try to influence the substats once again but yeah it's not that easy so we'll see how it turns out so yeah guys here we are back to the game and as you guys can see I level up this feather to plus 20 now this feather at plus 20 it didn't level up as I wanted I ended up having the HP leveled up instead of crit damage or crit rate but as I said this is not a hundred percent method but you guys can influence it the way you level up artifacts so it is very nice indeed so the feather ended up being 19.4 crit damage and 8.9 crit rate which is very very nice so again guys if you guys want to get very nice artifacts like this don't forget to lock up all the other artifacts that you guys get they may have crit rate crit damage so you guys can use them to upgrade your artifacts later so i did get some other good pieces before but i'm about to show you some of the best pieces i end up getting using this method so i have some right here cryo damage now this isn't a very nice particular piece but it ended up being 13 crit damage 10 crit rate it has some attack percent which is okay for ayaka but it are it isn't one of the best pieces i have another piece that i have right here 28 and 7 which is very nice this is a very nice piece I have a lot of nice pieces for Nahida, was one of the last characters I pulled and she has very nice artifacts, 1810 I also pulled this, was my best artifact because all the substats rolled 
either to crit damage or to crit rate and this one is 50 crit value because it, ha because it has 21 crit damage and 14.4 crit rate which makes it 28 almost 29 crit value right here with the crit rate and then plus 21 makes it 50 which is amazingly nice we also have some other artifacts right here 49 now i have a lot of flowers 49 if you guys can see i did a lot of these methods with these flowers for nahida these dendro flowers you guys can see how it's going 14 9 14 10 then i have a bunch of flowers right here like 7 9 i didn't level them up because they will end up being the same so 9.76 this one went 20 with 3 and then 14 HP. I'm saving this for Zhongli because it needs HP too. So I have a lot of these flowers. Crit damage, crit rate. I didn't even end up leveling them up because they won't be that much better than these two. Only if they have really high substats, which some of them don't. So another pieces that I got right here, I got for... Raiden Shogun, this piece which is crazy, 35.7, everything rolled into crit damage, and then 3.9 crit rate. I got some other pieces too. Let me check if I can show you. 22.3, this is another piece, that's how I was leveling up artifacts before. This was how I leveled up artifacts before without influencing, I think, anything, and I end up wasting those artifacts away because they didn't end up leveling up the substats that I wanted. So I would always recommend for you guys to use this method because you'll get much better results than if you just blind leveling up your artifacts. Otherwise you may be wasting all those good artifacts that you guys are getting and if you level them up just blindly you may not end up getting the results you wished for. Now another thing that I want to mention guys is Doubtnet that fountain is here and now you guys can have the emblem set also here on the crafting bench so if you guys have all those old artifacts the five star artifact that you guys have there that are kind of useless you guys can now redeem them here for the for the emblem which is very very nice so you guys can just redeem it and get some good pieces from Emblem, which is very nice. Another thing that I want to show you is the artifacts that I have on my characters. For example, Ayaka. If you guys know, you will be using Ayaka with a 4-piece Blizzard, right? That's what you guys should be doing at the beginning of the game and if you don't have enough crit rate. But for example, right here, I have Ayaka already with 50 crit rate and 270 crit damage which is already very very high and if I use Ayaka with for example Lila in the same team which I do I will have a further 50% increase on crit rate so I have already 65% crit rate and that's already enough so I can use another set for example the Shimanawa set which gives another 18% attack. If you guys don't know, Ayaka is very, very good with a two-piece set, two-piece Blizzard, two-piece Shimanawa, because it has extra cryo damage and it has further attack percent, which she needs, and it really, really boosts her damage, which is very nice. So in my case, it is worth it to use a two-piece, two-piece, because of the extra damage and already made the test and I already tested both sets and this set really boosts up Ayaka's damage so don't worry if you don't have the four piece sets that you should you can also have a two piece until you farm a better pieces you guys can use two pieces two pieces also depends on the character you're using it for example other characters that I have yellow one I'm using here the emblem set because this set is broken and her stats really match this now the goblet is nothing special, but the rest is kind of okay. I have a lot of HP. You also want to match all the better substats that you guys have with your character. For example, right here, I have crit, da crit damage, 
goblet uh, circlet i have some crit rate and then 13 percent hp which boosts her elemental skill that's what i need i don't use her as a main dps i use her as a sub dps but these stats really really are the best things i can have for her right here for example 21 7 and then once again 5% HP, this also boosts her elemental skill and this is very nice here the piece I have, I don't further, I don't bother much with the crit rate but I have another piece right here with 15% HP which will further boost her elemental skill damage she has 50% crit rate so instead of having 60 or something I have 10% less but then I will have even more damage with her elemental skill so another nice character I have right here is Raiden she has 60, 214 and 233 energy recharge she really needs this now I don't have her main weapon the engulfing lightning but I have the staff of Oma and in the pieces that I have right here I have her flower with 35 crit damage 3.9 crit rate I have this piece right here which has some energy recharge again it rolls one substat to energy recharge which it isn't bad at the beginning I was using this on Yellen but since it has 10 crit rate I just put this in here because she needs some crit rate too and then it has 12% crit damage it's not that bad but it's good so the god the sands I have energy recharge sands with 3.5 crit rate again 36.5 crit damage which is damn amazing again it's an off-piece set so don't be afraid of leveling up some off-piece sets just level them up they may end up turning very very nice so you guys can use them again i have the goblet it is a decent color it has energy recharge crit rate crit damage nothing special nothing fancy but it does the job i also have some electro damage goblet again one of the pieces that i was leveling up before and you end up having 19 percent defense so i just gave up i didn't level up anymore because this outrageous everything actually leveled up yeah everything went to defense until now until 16 17 everything went to defense rolled in the same substat so it was outrageous that's how i was leveling up artifacts before then i have some crit rate this i still need a circlet a better circlet because i only have this one everything went to energy recharge elemental master which kind of needed but i don't have crit damage unfortunately i didn't have luck i still have to farm another circlet for her but still she has good substats she has enough crit rate crit damage and a lot of energy recharge which is very much needed so one of the best artifacts that i have again i have that goblet crazy goblet i have some circlet the circlet didn't went very well i have right here i still need to farm a lot of artifacts for all i hate him he doesn't has the best artifacts yet i need to use some more resin for it and then i have nahida nahida i'm using the elemental mastery artifacts right now but she has maybe one of the best sets right here if i use the other set instead of the elemental mastery set this set has elemental mastery energy recharge elemental mastery and then i have the usual dps nahida set which has a lot of crit rate and crit damage so 18 crit damage 5.8 crit rate i don't have many feathers for Nahida with good substats so I didn't have many luck until now so this is the better feather the best feather I got until now but yeah it's not that bad so if you want Nahida attack percent I have 12.4 9.4 so this is a DPS Nahida okay this is elemental master Nahida still okay 12% crit rate just misses on crit damage right there but this one is a better if I want to use Nahida as a DPS since I have Nahida C2. So the goblet again, I have the good Dendro goblet with 18 crit damage, 10 crit rate, and elemental mastery. This is okay, but what I use is this one right here crit damage and then 12% crit rate, which is fair enough. Fair enough, good. 
it's not perfect but it's very nice again crit rate didn't have much luck on this crit rate as you guys can see i had i still managed to have 13 crit damage so it went two times one time two crit damage the rest went everything to defense so again it's not on 100 percent method but it is very very nice but yeah you guys want to pass out and watch all your artifacts that you have and also pay attention to what constellations you guys may have since i have raid and c2 she's my dps and since i have nahida c2 and i use her with raiden i will use haida as a uh, sub dps and not as a dead dps and she does a lot of great great damage she is crazy nice so guys this was it for the artifacts i hope you guys have learned something i hope i could teach you something if you guys have managed to get some nice pieces just tell me down below which ones are the best pieces you guys have if you want to share the substats you guys can share it too so if you guys are able to get some good artifacts after this video please don't forget to subscribe and if you guys can't also just drop a like because that will help a lot with the youtube algorithm and you guys will support the channel so thank you so much for watching i see you guys in the next one cheers